In the 21st century, when it comes to America's business interests, there is no Camelot and no magic solution. The world-class markets we compete in have never been so rigorous. We have less time to chase potential solutions. R&D is expensive. But it's increasingly clear that yesterday's tried and true has become tomorrow's uncertainty. Where do we fit in this world economy? What are the resources we can count on? If we are to thrive, what do we need? It's important to have an educated workforce uh, for the products that we do because we make precision sheet metal products for the uh, aircraft and medical industry and telecommunications. And so having people capable of being able to use measuring equipment, calipers, micrometers, height gauges, and things like that on press brakes, uh, lasers, and uh, CNC punch presses, that's real important to provide that to our customers, to have uh, people capable of that. We need to have a skilled workforce coming out of the colleges. And we need to be a low-cost provider, and we need to have the ability to compete globally. Challenges have changed uh, for our employees. You know, you used to be able to come in and sit down at a machine and just perform one job and then go home, and that's not the case any longer. The global competitive market forces us to use automation and use technology so that the employees are doing um, many tasks. And uh, as a result, those employees have to have additional skill sets than some of them have today. So again, the partnership with the education institution is critical. We're really facing a need to uh, address the boomer shortages, the workforce shortages. With that innovation comes solutions. We need to have a, a help instill into this uh, next generation of, the, of our workforce the idea to innovate, to create, to stay competitive, to uh, utilize those global pressures to push us further faster. It used to be in any industry, but particularly in ours, if you were exceptional in one or two dimensions, whether it was technology, quality, uh, cost, you, you had a viable business model. Today you have to be exceptional across the board. If you don't have the technology, if you don't have the quality, you don't even get into the game. And then you got to be the low cost producer because you need those margins to be able to fund your R&D. So our challenge today in staying competitive is how do you be exceptional on all these different fronts? It can be costly to stay competitive, but it's more expensive not to. This challenge is even more vexing for small to medium sized companies where the price of failure is elimination from the market. As if trying to stay competitive isn't enough, there is the harder job of innovating. Today, developing new ideas is only part of the solution. You know from experience that ultimately, it's the right application of technology that gives you a leg up on the competition and positions your company for leadership. Innovation and application become the real competitive edge. Whether it's a totally new way of doing something or a better application of an existing technology, it just might be the difference that can put you in the lead. We get innovation and new ideas from a variety of sources. First of all, from, from the educational communities and certainly Alexandria Technical College is very cutting edge. They're, they're known um, throughout the nation uh, for their programs and uh, they're, they're very innovative in themselves, and so that partnership with them is very good for us. In the global marketplace, the big picture is not just to survive, but to thrive. Creating marketable solutions requires the best use of every resource available, from start to finish. And talented people make the difference between success and failure. They are your best resource. We have a significant portion of our employees that are going to be retiring in the next five to ten years. So we're going to need to be able to bring on new talent that can start replacing some of these people that have been working in this industry for many, many years. You need multi-skilled workers for success. Highly trained individuals who are flexible. Team players who take pride in responding to the manufacturing and engineering challenges in this changing marketplace. Retraining current valued employees is an investment with a positive return. Capturing the knowledge of your best, most experienced, sometimes retiring workers, and then using that knowledge and know-how to train new or advancing workers enhances your company's core values. We know that you have some of these needs and others we haven't thought of. 
So we invite you to share your challenges with a center of excellence in engineering and manufacturing that is dedicated to both practical and innovative solutions. We all have a stake in maximizing Minnesota.